Hi Dragons, it's Mrs. McKenrick. I am here in my newly set up home art studio and I thought I would just hop on YouTube today and kind of introduce you to our new setup for a little while and talk about some of the things we're going to do and that's it, let's get started. So um, we're at my house and this is actually has been in the past our home office and we don't really use it that often <laughs> so i thought i would take over this little corner and i would bring some things from school and um, some things you recognize some things that i love um, and also add in some new things too so i wanted to kind of show you what we have going on this table is going to be kind of our work area. We'll do some projects on here. We'll do some guided drawings. Um, I want to do the daily sketchbook prompts with you that I sent home with um, your families and your bag of tons of awesome material from your classroom teachers and myself and the other special area teachers. Um, so let me just show you if you're a primary school friend, you might recognize the heart banner in the background that normally is hanging outside our primary school art classroom. Um, so I wanted to bring in something that you might recognize or might seem familiar to you. Over here behind me, if you're an intermediate school friend, I've got my color changing lamp because I feel like we always need a little bit of color. And I also have some of the goodies that I have usually on top of my cabinet, including some artwork by a super famous um, felt artist named Lucy Sparrow and I also have um, some artwork from Brittany Lee she is a collage artist but she's also an animator for Disney she just did a lot of work on Frozen 2 and that is one of her carousel horses and uh, these cool bookends are um, brand new I just got them Mr. McKenrick's aunt actually she is a wood carving and wood burning and wood painting artist and she just created these awesome gnome home bookends out of scrap pieces of wood from her project so um yeah so this is what it is i've got some books from school some of my favorite art books some of my favorite stories and that's about it so i just wanted to show you you got today um in your take home bag this letter from me and in it it explains to you about if you got a sketchbook some kids at the intermediate school you might not have gotten a sketchbook if your family didn't think that you might have needed paper at home um, all primary school kids did get a sketchbook today which is just a bunch of like paper stapled together and you also got from me this letter on it it talks about my youtube channel which if you are watching this video maybe you have found my youtube channel i typically have used my youtube channel for guided videos getting ready for projects and things but i think now it's a great place for us to have um, a way to connect with each other subscribe to my youtube channel my intermediate school friends are going to think this is hilarious that i'm trying to get people to subscribe to my youtube channel but the reason is that it'll give you notifications for when I post a new video. Um, I also have Google Classroom. My fourth through sixth graders, we've already done Google Classroom together. Um, my kindergarten for second and third graders, we have not. So you guys, first and second graders, kindergarten, first and second graders have their own code, which is listed on here, as well as third graders, you also have your own separate code as well. So. In order to get in touch with me, if you want to message me or talk to me, you can do that through Google Classroom. You could also comment on the videos. Um, I might post some things that maybe I think you might find interesting, like interactive museum visits, or that's where I might also say, hey, I have a new YouTube video out to show you. Um, maybe I might put some assignments on there. It might be crazy, I know. Um, and at last I did want to say in this letter I say about how I know that you might not have access to traditional art supplies at home. You might not have, well you might not have paint, you might not have markers or things like that, paper, that's okay. But 
we can create art using all sorts of supplies. You can, oh, the puppy is under my table right now crying. Um, but you can create art with nature materials. You can create art with recyclable materials. So um, I'm gonna be giving you a lot of ideas and tips for things that you can create and craft with that doesn't have to be art supplies. Um, also in this packet, you got these props, our daily drawing props. And these are things that I am hoping to do with you and I'm gonna post videos about it. You don't have to do the same drawing that I do, but I just think it's something that we can do together. I wanna be here for you, I want you to be here for me because I'm gonna miss you in this time that we're apart from each other. Um, and I also have for your parents, just a handy list of some online resources all about art. Some of them are other channels like Art for Kids Hub, which we use all the time in the art room. Scratch Junior, you might be familiar with, things like that, as well as some apps that I think are great, um, both for Chromebook or iPad, if you have that at home, different websites to visit, and just a few art ideas under that, but I'm hoping that we'll be able to do a bunch of that together. So, <sighs> that is, so, I think that it would be best for us to do a little drawing together today. So we are going to jump into today's drawing, March 16th, which is, there are millions of fish in the sea. Create your own type of fish, give it a name, and create a home in the sea for your new type of fish. So let's get started. I don't have any white paper on hand at the moment. I'm sure it's here. Today's prompt of the day is there are millions of fish in the sea create your own type of fish give it a name and create a home in the sea for your new type of fish now this one on here really cracks me up it's a funny one fish bodies are generally teardrop shaped but they can be really any shape um, i like this particular fish has some gigantic eyeballs um, and it's made even funnier because one is larger and one is smaller and they definitely have some fins. Now, your made up fish does not have to have those things, but it'll look more like a fish if it does. So I already have an idea for a type of fish because I'm kind of just going off of how I'm feeling right now, which is sleepy. So I'm gonna try and create a sleepy fish. Now, Mrs. McKenrick is not a cartoonist, which means that I am not someone who I would quantify as an excellent artist. Um, I'm pretty solid with some different types of art, um, but I think you're gonna see that my artwork is not necessarily, um, you know, crazy. I can hear the puppy downstairs crying at me. Can you hear her? Give it some eye. So these are, I'm thinking these are some like droopy eyeballs. And um, maybe we'll make the body kind of like a dory body. And we'll get some, a mouth going in here, kind of like a yawn. This has reminded me of the anglerfish. Right before this uh, break started, my fourth graders and I, fourth graders if you can remember, we were started talking about some of the deep sea fish. Maybe, oh that would be funny actually. And the anglerfish was one of them. And we were looking at fish in the deeper parts of the ocean. And I'm kind of making a sleepy anglerfish right now who would really like to be taking a nap. And I think it would be funny to put some sort of like, you know how the anglerfish have those lamps on their head? Maybe, I don't know. How would it make a night light? Mm, maybe a night light would be something like, mm, I don't know. You guys have, you might have a night light in your house. I shouldn't generalize 
And this is what I think of when I think of a nightlight. There, sleepy fish. Um, and let's give the sleepy fish some sleepy fish fins. Well, maybe these will be the gills. We can have some fins back here. And maybe like, oh, there's the puppy, she's coming in. Coming in to see what's going on in here. She's just in there crying. All right. And maybe a little fishy tail. So my idea with doing these videos with you guys is not to show you how necessarily to draw something, but just to have a chance for us to sort of connect to each other and you can connect to me. And honestly, I think I need to be working on my drawing skills a little bit more. If I'm gonna keep being this crazy, awesome art teacher, I should really get my act together with drawing. Um, I do think we need a couple of bubbles. Um, I don't know, this fish isn't really looking so much sleepy anymore. Hmm, well, there could be some sleepy things. Well, we have to create a home in the sea for our fish, so maybe we'll make some coral for our fish to live on. And let's see, let me make sure you can see that, okay. And maybe it's, um, you know, who doesn't love a cup of tea when they're tired? You probably don't, but I do. So we're going to have some teacup coral. Maybe there's some chamomile in there. We got some lemon. Oh yeah, that sounds good. I'm going to go make myself a cup of tea after this. Third graders and I, right before our break, we're talking about um, what coral looks like and coral, you could really make coral into any different shapes as long as you cluster it. So I'm, that's why I'm making lots of teacups. I'm sure you guys, if I said a sleepy fish, you would have so many cool ideas for me of other things that I could add. If you want to, Go ahead and add some of your ideas into the comments or um, even better what I would love is that if you could if you do do your own drawing prompt if you can take a picture of it and post it to our Google classroom page for your grade level that would be awesome and in your Google classroom page go ahead and tell Mrs. McKenrick what else should my sleepy fish have in her sleepy habitat besides teacup coral and some wonky looking seaweed. All right, guys, that's all for me. And I hope that you have uh, an opportunity to create your own fish. If you want, you can at the bottom, give me a smiley, a wonky face or a meh, not so much depending on how you think you did on this tomorrow. This one looks fun. Combine two of your favorite foods to create a superfood. Ooh, that's fun. This is gonna be a good time. All right, have a great day. See ya, bye-bye.